Hey, and welcome to a new episode of I Don't Know Fighting. This is uh, episode four. I'm your host, Adrian. I don't think I've ever introduced myself yet. I, I did listen to some of my episodes and noticed I was really a uh, monotone. I'm trying not to do that. Uh, I think, to be fair, one of them was recorded at night, so was trying to, like, be quiet. Luckily, this one, I'm, I can, like, let loose a little bit. Um, recording this on March 1st, 2024. First day of the year, uh, first day of the year, first day of the month. And dang, it's already March, that's crazy. Uh, I'm not sure when I'm gonna upload this. Probably, like, the week after, uh, Tuesday. I'm trying to upload these every Tuesday. So I'm guessing, was that, um, March 12th or something like that? So that's when this will come out, so hopefully... Hopefully I'm not too behind. I did start an Instagram. I don't know fighting. Uh, got that going. A few followers and whatnot. Also, I also started the YouTube. I just rebranded my one of my other accounts, I guess. Then I guess it's easier. But I haven't. Um, I think that one's just I don't know podcast. Cause um, let's see. Uh, trying to like build a brand. Like I mentioned before, I'm trying to start like a parenting podcast, most likely. Those are that's really early stages. I was supposed to start with that, but decided to go with um since i would go with this first because i know this this topic better yeah let's let's get right into it uh this saturday Mar for march 2nd just for some context uh the amanda serrano versus uh what is her name nina something that's for serrano's three uh women's featherweight belts that's gonna be a fun fight amanda serrano is one of the top uh women women boxers right now one of the top boxers honestly between her, Katie Taylor, and uh, Clarissa Shields. I think she lost to Katie Taylor, if I remember correctly. Um, there's a UFC fight night as well. The Rosenstrike one that I mentioned, I think, in a previous episode. And think about it now, I th think I'm going to try to, like, divide this episode into two. Like, a pre-fight, like, Friday, and maybe on Sunday or Monday, do, like, a post-fight reaction to that. So then, um, yeah, maybe I'll <laughs> see. I'm still fi trying to figure this out as I go. Another news, I I saw the press conference for um Ryan and um Ryan and a uh, uh, Haney. That was funny. Um, I didn't really watch the press conference. I just saw the pre press conference. It was like Ryan like coming in on a white horse and he's wearing a white suit. Funny enough, uh, Oscar De La Hoya is also wearing a white suit. The uh, the Coke Bros at it again, you know. Uh, I think in the press conference, um Ryan mentioned like I don't do coke. I just smoke weed and drink. I'm like okay, it's cool. At least you're honest. Um, it's, it's funny because it's like it's not even Brian Garcia versus Devin Haney anymore. It's like Ryan versus Bill Haney. That's uh, Devin Haney's dad. <laughs> um, it's gonna be a fun fight. Uh, I heard he's gonna get paid like thirty million. Uh, Ryan's case, according to uh, De La Hoya, I think that's the same amount he got paid for um, the tank fight. Good payday for him, man. And in other news, uh, it's likely that Canelo's gonna face Jaime Munguia next. Yeah, okay, whatever. I don't really care. Um, I really, you know, every obviously every every boxing fan wants Canelo to fight uh, Benavidez. But for some reason, he's not fighting him. Like, I believe Canelo can beat Benavidez. I'm like, I'm not sure what's going on. Is he ducking him? Is he something something? I don't want to like. I'm not trying to put anything out there, but um, yeah, he's uh, Canelo's leaving PBC. Um, I don't think they he struck a deal with Dazonia, but it's I think it's most likely gonna happen. But he, it's like it's likely he's wanting wanting to face uh, Munguia, and then like Edgar Belonga next, which is kind of weird. Uh, oh well, I don't know. Um, UFC 299 coming up in like ten nine nine, nine ten days, in a little over a week. Uh, Sean O'Malley. Uh, rematch with Vera. I already talked about this in a previous podcast. That's gonna be fun. Hopefully, I can record a post, a uh, pre or post fight stuff for that press conference. Might go, might go crazy. I still want to see uh, Canelo and Crawford. That'll be a fun fight. I know the weight discrepancy is kind of a lot. It's like uh, five weight, uh, four weight classes or something. Like what? Four, one forty seven, one fifty four, one sixty. Like yeah, four, four weight classes between them. Um, and I don't think they're gonna meet in the middle. I don't want. I don't think Canelo wants to go back down to like 160ish or something like that. It has to be some sort of like 165 catch weight or some some shit like that. <laughs> Crawford wants it. He just he wants that payday too. He got a good payday from a uh, Spence fight. Um, he's a free agent too now. I think that's what I read. And and to be clear, when I say when I read, I just that just mean like Instagram or something or maybe Twitter slash X. You know. Uh, sometimes I go on, like, ESPN News or something like that. 
Yeah, moving on. I was really excited to see a new episode of the Unprofessional Boxing Podcast with um, Box Rick Gray. I haven't seen him in like a, a, I haven't heard him in a year, and I think he just, yeah, he just released a new, new, new episode. Um, yeah, check out his podcast. Love his content. This is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make it consistent too, so that's gonna be fun. Uh, I was gonna put like background music, but I didn't want to pay a license or anything like that. I was like, screw that. Nope, nope, not gonna do it. Um, especially if I want to like. I don't know, uh, sponsor this podcast in the future. Like, if I have music in the background, it might, I don't know, it might hinder my chances on doing that. I'm not sure. Let's see, uh, how many followers do I have on my Instagram for this uh, podcast? 34. Come on. Let's go, guys. Let's let's bring it up. <laughs> Again, it's at I don't know fighting on Instagram. And I uh, hope you liked the last episode. I think the last episode I released before this one's released, uh, the boxing video games. That was kind of fun. I was really enjoying it. I'm like, I'm, I should do more list stuff, I guess. Uh, I think I, I like lists. I think people like lists. I think Boxer Grace said he liked lists in his last podcast, or his last, last episode. Yeah, I was thinking, like, just doing a watch-along or something, or reviewing some old boxing movies. Um, we can go through some old fights, too. Let's see. Yeah, this should be fun. Probably going to take long break soon just to you know gather my thoughts and watch the fights this weekend and do like a post fight breakdown or something like that should be good to go how, how long I've been recording eight minutes yeah i'm gonna try to make these like around less than 30 minutes maybe that will help you know with some um, some listener retention and all that yeah i have this on i think i put this on a lot of places uh, obviously spotify apple podcasts I forgot where to, um, other, like, iHeartRadio, I think, <laughs> I think, uh, Amazon Music, too, something like that, yeah, oh, and, like, uh, Google Podcasts, that, that's another place, <laughs> trying to, like, lessen the ums, I want to say I don't know a lot, because that's, like, my, the title of this podcast, that's on brand, I guess, <laughs> oh, I'm gonna say I guess a lot, then, oh, gosh, let's see, uh, let's see, going back into boxing, just really quickly wanted to talk about, like, are the new faces, like, the new big four or the four horsemen or whatever like how they had in the 80s is that like i don't know garcia taney tank who else to i guess i mean shakur is like you know dropping himself in there too i don't know when he's fighting if you remember his last fight it was a big snooze fest so glad it was on a thursday so i wouldn't have like freaking you know turned that on let's see yeah Keyshawn davis he's in there he's in there somewhere super matias he's great i mean he's not a lightweight but I mean, so isn't the uh, Haney or Garcia now, I guess. Well, let's see. Uh, oh, you know, Crawford and uh, T.O. That would make a good fight, too. Like, a good skills matchup. Man. This thing's, um, boxing's getting better, you know? Starting from 2022, 2023-ish. Oh, God. Got some good fights um, coming up. We had good fights that we uh, we experienced in the, uh, in the last, last year and a half, I guess. Yeah, awesome. Finally. I've been waiting a while. I've been, I feel like the last decade I've just been focusing on UFC, which is not bad. I love UFC. Uh, I do miss boxing. That is my first love. You know. Speaking of UFC, geez, I'm still rattled over um, Volkanovski's loss to Ilya. Oh, man. Ilya, though, he's he's a beast. Um, I think I heard an interview with um, was it Gilbert Burns, while, uh, UFC welterweight. Like, that he's a, he knocked out, like, three people in sparring or something like that. Um I'm like, dang, okay. When I hear that, I'm like, dude, chill out. <laughs> chill out, please. It's just sparring. Um, I, I, unless he has, like, that unworldly power. Um, most likely. Uh, shoot. Uh, isn't it funny to think that uh, with guys like Jai Herbert, I'm talking UFC, right? Jai Herbert and uh, Bryce Mitchell had better performances than um, uh, Volkanovski <laughs> against uh, Ilya. That's hilarious. I think Josh Emmett survived five rounds. Even though he got knocked down like 15 times. Oh, I just hope. Let's see, I just hope some good fights coming up for UFC 299. Oh, I just stumbled across this. Z I forgot about this. Zhang and uh, Parker, heavyweight boxers. I mean, Parker lost to. Um, what's his name? Not Daniel Dubois. What's, what's that guy's name? Shit. <laughs> I can't freak man. Oh my god. Um, but yeah, that heavyweight boxer dude. Sheesh. He's a monster. I, again, I can't fight, remember his name. Zhang, of course. God, I have to really look up Daniel Dubois <laughs> so I can get to the the, the guy he, lo uh, he lost to. Joe Joyce, yeah. 
Joe Joyce, he lost to freaking Xilie uh, Zhang like twice, both by knockout. Zhang has that sole loss to uh, Philip Hergovic. Whew. I need to see a need to see a rematch between that because I think that was a close fight, or in terms of the scorecards, it was close. But yeah, him and Joe jo uh, Joseph Parker. That's gonna be an interesting one. Uh, again, Joseph Parker lost to Joe Joyce pretty badly. Got dominated, I want to say, but he did beat Deontay Wilder like very convincingly, very surprisingly, in that matter. But it's gonna be a good fight. Saying, come on, representations. <laughs> kind of oh, what was that outside? But yeah. Heavyweight boxing for Asians is not. We're all dominating the. The Asian, Asians are dominating the lower weights, you know, with a uh, in a way and his brother, uh, that Takumi J. Um, yeah. And I think I'm gonna stop it there. I'm gonna take a couple day break, I guess. I'm gonna start this back up after the fights. I'm just gonna give my quick two cents about that. Maybe talk about some other new stuff that may or may not happen between the next few days or so. And yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, and I am back. Um, it is March 4th, 2024, just a few days after I last time I recorded. The fights just happened this weekend, and I'll get into that in a bit. Um, just a quick update over the weekend. I got 47 followers now in total on Instagram. Hooray, hooray. Let's go. Let's keep it going. I'm trying to post consistently on there, like reels and, I don't know, random, random fight shit and whatnot. Um, and yeah, let's get into this. Uh, so, the UFC Fight Night card, yeah. According to my notes here, I wrote down a bit while I was watching it. Uh, we get Rosenstreich TKOing uh, Gassiev. Uh, Gassiev uh, was it threw in the towel after like the fourth round. Uh, Rosenstrike, like he wasn't looking good the first round. I wanted to say if I remember correctly, but he, he kept that jab going. Um, he 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 threw like oh my god he landed like a hundred fifty strikes on him. Uh, Gassiev couldn't keep up. Gas Gassiev gasses out I guess. <laughs> The uh, Petrino, he beat uh, Tyson Pedro, and um, let's see, Tyson Pedro was a big fan favorite. He did that, he did a really sweet looking um, celebration after KO. Um, but yeah, he loses and then retires from MMA. It's good. He's only he's still pretty young, so hopefully not that much brain brain damage. Um, and let's see, next, what's on the other fight? Oh, what's on, what's on the other fight on the card? Uh, Mohamed Makayev, yeah, he's a was an eighth rank, seventh rank. He beats um. He's slowly rising to rankings, beating uh, Alex Perez by uh, unanimous decision. Unanimous decision. Alex Perez is just one rank above him, so that was a good fight. Hopefully, he can um, hopefully he can fight like I don't know, like Royville next, and then winner of that fights for the title. I mean, who would want to see Royville fight for the title a third time? He already lost twice convincingly to the champ, so whatever. Um, bantamweights. Umar Numar Numar Umar. Numar Numar Magomedov, uh, related to obviously the uh, former lightweight champion Khabib, he stays undefeated. You know, dominating his opponent. I don't know who his opponent is. Uh, yeah, I think he was supposed to fight a uh, Corey Sanhagen, uh, like recently or like last year or something. That didn't go through. Um, yeah, more more uh, more exciting flyweight news though. Uh, what was his name? I posted on my Instagram. It was a. Uh, let's see here. Oh my gosh, what's his name? What's his name? You know, I'm just gonna look up the fight card. Um, yeah, Steve Ursig knocked out Matt Schnell in the second round. Um, it wasn't looking too good for Steve. I mean, he was he was he was uh, clipping him here and there, but Matt got some nice big shots in with um, Steve's low guard. I'm like, Ooh, not looking good for this, but yeah, he he's gonna be in the top ten soon, or yeah, most likely 99%. Sure, he's gonna be in the top ten. After this nice left hook KO, I posted on him on Instagram. Like, quick little reel if you wanted to check that out. Yeah, let's go move on to the boxing card. We got Jake Paul. He got... His fight got uh, pretty much got the uh, main event treatment. I'll get into that later. But he knocks out that 35-year-old Brian Borland. I don't know who he is. Uh, apparently, he's a Golden Gloves champion. He looked like a gym teacher. But Jake Paul TKOs him in the first round. Just goes ham on him. I'm like, oh, whatever. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, it's, it's fun watching Jake Paul fights, you know, just for the the, the, the the spectacle of it, you know what I mean? Let's see, who else was on the card? Oh, yeah, if you're a Euphoria star, Javon Walton, I guess his nickname is Wana. I don't know what that means. Uh, he fights to a draw. Uh, I think he was already 1-0 beforehand. I didn't even know he, he was professionally fighting before this. I thought this was his debut or something. Yeah, he goes to a draw. 
didn't really watch that fight. But the 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 original main event, Amanda Serrano, he was she was supposed to fight, but apparently she was a uh, un uh, medically unfit to fight the day of or something just because of an eye injury, according to Puerto Rican Boxing Commission. Um, apparently she got her hair done on like Thursday, and some of the chemicals got on her eye and like destroyed her cornea or something like that. I don't know. I don't know, but that sucks. <laughs> apparently a lot of uh, they're gonna refund all their tickets all the people who went there their tickets uh, fortunately the um her opponent nina nina something i forgot her last name uh she got paid her full purse which isn't good that's not fair for her obviously i mean yeah those were the fights this weekend like not really much to talk about uh, just gearing up for next week and the next few weeks after that especially with uh ufc 300 and amazon prime boxing card oh my god so much to look forward to and yeah Awesome. Uh, this weekend, you know, I already talked about O'Malley Vera 2, Poirier and Saint De Saint, De Saint Denis, and Kevin Hall and Venom Page. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be so fun. I think Venom, the the brand Venom, is still sponsoring. A, it's still on the fight shorts of a um, UFC, right? So I'm gonna see Michael Venom Page with the Venom shorts in the UFC. So how special is that? Come on. <laughs> I guess for quick picks, I'm I'm gonna choose Ver um, O'Malley over Vera. I think he's gonna probably gonna either I don't know 40 50 45 him or maybe um uh, maybe TKO him in the later rounds who knows I got Poirier winning the Saint Denis fight I know he's Saint Denis uh he's the he's like the favorite coming in which is kind of weird but hey come on Poirier it's Poirier come on guys I know he got knocked out his last fight come on it's Poirier Benoit Saint Denis he, um I mean he's only ranked like 14th or 12th so this is going to be a big step up in competition. Maybe he can show out, but I still got Poirier winning on that one. Um, Kevin Holland, Venom Page. Uh, I got Kevin Holland for that one. I don't, I don't know. He's more fun, I guess. But it's going to be a fun trash talky fight. Uh, two tall ass guys for the welterweight division. I think I mentioned before Venom Page is looking a little, um, you know, not fit, but who knows? Maybe he's more fit now, I guess. <laughs> we'll see in the, we'll see in the weigh-ins. Um, and let's see here. Yeah, and also, I forgot about this fight. The Anthony Joshua and Francis Ngano. Yeah, I forgot that was this, this week. Holy crap. Um, that's going to be ex exciting, I guess. <laughs> Not really much for the boxing world, but it's, a, again, like I said, a fun spectacle. Fun spectacle, just like Jake Paul, I guess. <laughs> yeah, awesome. See, I'm planning to record something about Rocky soon. Because uh, my sister and her boyfriend, they recently watched Creed 3. And that really wanted me to talk about <laughs> these boxing movies, you know. Um, even after, uh, like, after after talking about that, the boxing video games that uh, really sparked my interest into talking about this kind of stuff. It's like, it's different, like other than news and shit, and post pre pre post fight kind of shit. Just talking about some other social uh, social media <laughs> pop culture stuff, you know. Hey, maybe I can get into social media too. Who knows? All right. Okay. Where are we at? 22 minutes, right? This will probably come out in like eight-ish days. So I hope I'm not. Um, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be uh, really behind. I'm thinking of. Huh. I'm thinking of doing. Trying to think about my schedule. Um, upload schedule. I'll try to. I'll try to upload these more. Uh, more closer to the post fight, at least. Like this is way too late. A week after, I'm gonna talk about the post fight, or maybe two weeks after, I'm gonna talk about the post fight. No, probably not. I probably won't do that. Or I'll release it next Thursday. Maybe Tuesdays I'll release post fight. Thursdays I'll release something else. Who knows? <laughs> We're still working through this, but I'm just trying to keep it consistent. All right. Thank you very much, everyone, or whoever's listening. In 10, 15 listeners, I think I have. Follow me on the socials. I don't know fighting on Instagram. Try to find my uh, other one, I don't know, podcasts on um, YouTube, all that. Make sure to, uh, s I don't know, like this podcast, <laughs> rate five stars, leave a nice review. That's important. Yes, please leave a nice, nice review if you want. Hopefully it's five stars. <laughs> all right. Thank you.